Chapter 8, Introduction. In Chapter 7, Mishnah 2, we were taught that the speech given by the Kohen anointed for war before battle must be delivered in Hebrew. The first Mishnah of this chapter gives the biblical source for this law. The rest of the chapter deals with the general subject of what this Kohen and others say to the soldiers in preparation for war. In the Torah, this, the procedures described as follows. In Deuteronomy chapter 10, verses 1 through 9. If you go out to war against your enemies, and you see horse and chariot, a nation more numerous than you, do not fear them, because Hashem your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt, is with you. It shall be that when you draw near to the battle, the Kohen shall approach and speak to the people, and he shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are coming near to the battle against your enemies. Let not your heart be faint, do not be afraid, and do not panic, and do not be broken before them. For it is Hashem, your God, who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Then the officers shall speak to the nation, saying, Who is the man who built a new house, and has not inaugurated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the war, and another man inaugurate it. And who is the man who planted a vineyard, and has not redeemed it? Let him go and return to his house lest he die in a war and another man redeem it. And who is the man who betrothed a woman and has not married her? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the war and another man marry her. The officers shall add in speaking to the nation, and they shall say, Who is the man who is frightened and faint of heart? Let him go and return to his house, and let him not melt the hearts of his brothers like his heart. And it shall be, when the officers finish speaking to the nation, they shall appoint leaders of legions in front of the people. This passage records three statements. 1. Verses 2-4. through four, The Kohen shall approach and speak to the people, hear, O Israel, etc. The Kohen mentioned here is called Meshuach Milchama, the one anointed for war. Anointed for war. He was anointed for this task with the special anointing oil made by Moses that was also used for the Kohen Gadol and the king. Another Kohen repeats his words in a loud voice, making them heard to all the people. The purpose of the speech is to tell the army that they have no need to be afraid because God is helping them. 2. Verses 5-7 through seven. Then the officers shall speak to the people, saying, Who is the man who built the new house, etc.? These instructions, too, were spoken by the Kohen anointed for war, but they were repeated in a loud voice by an officer. It names three types of people who need not fight and may return home. A man who built a new house, or planted a vineyard, or betrothed a woman. Mishnahs 2 and 3 explain who is included in these exemptions. 3. Verse 8. The officers shall add in speaking to the people, and they shall say, Who is the man who is frightened, etc.? This instruction was spoken by an officer and repeated in a loud voice by another officer. It exempts a person who is too afraid to fight, telling him to leave so that his fear does not spread to the other soldiers. This law is discussed in Mishnah 5. The first statement, Hear, O Israel, etc., was made at the battlefield. However, the next two statements were made earlier, when the people reached the border of Eretz Israel on their way to the land of the enemy. It was at this point that those exempt from fighting would leave. An additional exempted exemption is stated in another passage in Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 5. When a man takes a new wife, he may not go out with the army, and it, the army, may not impose upon him for anything. He shall be free for his house for one year, and he shall gladden his wife that he has taken. Mishnah 4 teaches who is excluded in this exemption, and the differences between it and the three exemptions mentioned above.